how to prevent your scuba mask or your snorkeling mask from fogging up on your dives. You're sick of uh, coming back to the boat and trying to use that expensive stuff to clear your mask up? Well, this is going to fix that trick. Uh, see that black stuff that I'm wiping off the mask? So I've burnt that silicone off these masks. So I'm not going to have to deal with that anymore. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, doing a little prep work for a trip we're going on. And uh, I want to show you a little trick that I learned. Uh, it's pretty common, but if you're just starting out and you don't know it, then, uh, then it can sound kind of odd. But what we're going to do is we're going to burn the silicone off the inside of this mask. Uh, they sh use silicone to preserve them whenever they're uh whenever they're made in the factory so that if they sit on the shelf for two or three years it doesn't just kind of the mask doesn't just dry rot and and kind of deteriorate over the time just the shelf life is longer but that means whenever you get it in the box um you fight that fog whenever you dive so every time you dive you, you constantly scrub you know layers of that uh silicone off that's what you're doing whenever you you use that expensive stuff you buy at the dive shop as you're trying to scrub the silicone coating off of here and uh it just keeps coming back and uh you keep having to do it every time you go down well if you want to quit having to fight that issue permanently and uh and then have a mask that's just a it's just going to be a, a mask everybody fights over in the boat because it's going to be so clear is take your lighter and i left it kind of dirty so you could kind of see what happens but you're going to have to burn it until you start seeing see how it opens up and it kind of it burns that layer off and you can see the silicone running away from the from the heat and it seems like I'm doing it way too long but it's gonna be okay and uh, and so now got all that silicone off and I don't like to go too close to the edges because I don't want to shrink that uh shrink that uh you know the, the ceiling material the, the, the gasket material that mounts to your face i don't want to distort it but if you can see this this ring that i've created i've burnt that silicone away and you might get a little fog on the peripheral but i don't mind that too much mainly i'm concerned about what's straight ahead of us and that's going to be all cleared up now everybody's going to be fighting over this one but that's okay because i just finished doing this one and then once i got finished with it i took it to the sink Use some good soap, clean it off real well, and uh, so both of these are ready for the boat now. These are some good masks that Cressy sells. I just, you know, uh, I like to keep everything kind of uniform in the boat so all the snorkel kits fit together. Um, it's pretty much fit everybody's face. You buy that little that Cressy mask. I can't remember the name of the combination here, but it's about 50 bucks. It'll last you for years and years. I've got one that I've had for 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 six or seven years now, and it pretty much rides in the boat and I don't have any issues. I'll do one more. I'll do one more for you. This is one that I've, I've had for a while and we'll see if it gets any if we get any silicone off this one. See how it's just kind of opening up? Everybody's, you know, everybody's got their head out of the water out there floating around on the reef because they can't see and they're, they're trying to, they can't, you know, they it just makes for a less enjoyable experience whenever you're out there on the reef and you see, you know, all these beautiful fish and it's just uh, a big, you know, blurry mess because you, you can't get your mask to fog up. And a lot of people could clear their mask when they're actually, you know, out there by uh, letting a little water in their in their in their mask and then and then letting it and then blowing it back out uh, the nose, you know, by leaning their head back and blowing through their nose. But once you introduce that hot air to that mask and you, you know you've already fogged it up you're just going to continue to to have to fight that through your through your dive and and uh this will completely you know just about completely remedy it um you're going to want to do all your masks and it's just so quick and it's just like one of those things that if you don't know about it you're not like somebody that lives down there near the coast you don't take trips that often it's going to be a cool trick for you to know to quit having to buy that $10 bottle stuff and then you can just use some uh, some spit and, uh, and rinse it out. 
you'll be ready to go. We'll just save you some money there. That's it, man. I did a little bit more research after I kind of finished making this to just kind of check on my facts because I just kind of free, uh, freestyled through that. And they said that if you, once you burn it, if you put some toothpaste on uh, the lens and then you let it sit until it dries for a few couple hours, that it, it works even better. So I kind of skipped that for this one. And they said it'll still work without that if you're in a hurry. But if you have time, uh, put some toothpaste on it, let it dry, and then, you know, and then rinse it out a couple hours later before you throw it in your bag. All right. I'm going to put a link in the description below to take you to a little uh, website, a professional uh, kind of giving you the same advice here so you're not just taking some random YouTuber's advice on how to set your uh, snorkel on fire. That way you kind of give me some, I'll give me some references there. So check out the link below for a, for a, a written description from a completely different source and uh, it'll give you a little bit more confidence when you uh, go to setting your mask on fire. I'm going to do a voice over here because my, my kids were sleeping. I didn't want to talk inside. So... Another thing you want to look out for when you're, when you're, you know, you guys are out there on the water and you've got all your friends diving and they're not that experienced, is you want to check the orientation of the snorkels, uh, you know, when they're putting them, the masks on. And uh, you might have to, sometimes those snorkels are like two part and one side will twist inside the other. And if you're fighting a lot of water getting down your snorkel, you probably got that, that, that little arc in the snorkel pointed back, you know, too far behind your head. And so as you're, as, you're, uh, as you're hitting those waves a little bit, you're sucking some water down. So make sure you kind of point it forward just, just a touch and just pay attention to that because, you know, it'll be a lot easier to breathe if that snorkel is kind of pointing up, up and forward a little bit. Hey, man, how about your homeboy? While I'm in warehouse, subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me out. Or if you hated the video, give me a big old fat thumbs down. Call me a loser in the comments. Either way, appreciate you watching.